everyone, this is Camilla with Craft Vinci. Today we're going to make a quick label on our Cricut Joy with writable vinyl. So a couple of things you need to remember about the cup of writable vinyl as I'm opening up mine is um, it works great with the pens, however the gel pens are not compatible with the writable vinyl. I'm assuming that they're going to smear and um, not work well and I can test that out in a minute, um, actually towards the end of our project. See what they actually do if we put it on a writable vinyl. Um, the next thing you need to remember is before you use the pens, always test them out to make sure that they actually work and the ink is flowing. See? Pretty well, unlike this one. Seems that it's not working quite well. That's the one that came in my Cricut Joy and um, let's see if this one right here in our pack is going to do a bit better for us. Let us yeah, much better. Okay, so we're going to use this one and we're going to do another color with the brown which works perfect. Alright, so I designed these labels to go on our super cute hand sanitizers that I have a ton of. Um, but they, they have the instructions on the back and the ingredients, however, they don't have a front. So I thought, well, how cute it would be to make my own little label on it, which I did. And it says, spread kindness, not germs. So how appropriate is this for our today's time? Um, so I just quickly designed mine in Design Space. Um, I will link one in my... I will link the design as well, so you can use it if you wanted to on something else. Um, I will have it on my blog, but we're going to just press make it since I already did load it up. And we're going to choose to do it without the mat. Now, you do have to remember that if you are making a project with the vinyl, the smart vinyl, without the mat, um, you're going to lose some of the material because the Cricut Joy is not going to start cutting your material until probably at least an inch down from where it starts. So you're going to be losing some of that unless you're fine with that. Um, you know, I don't like wasting material and I would have a very limited amount of projects that I would do with little tiny inch pieces. Now that it's not doable because you can definitely use it for other things. Um, I probably won't be using it without the mat as much as I will with the mat just because of the waste. Okay, so once we do that, we are going to press continue. And as it's thinking, um, this is vinyl, smart vinyl permanent, and I usually choose the pressure to be more just in case because I don't want my label to be. Uh, uncut in places. So I'm being prompted to go ahead and stick in my material which is super easy you guys you just push it in until it feeds itself just like so. That's good and I do have my black pen inserted already which is prompting me to do so and we're gonna just press go. So it's preparing my label now and let's see there it goes. All right, so as it's writing, um, like I said, the gel pens, we're going to test out on the little portion once it cuts out and see what actually happens when you use them. If they smear or maybe they won't dry at all. I have these glitter gel pens. And had I thought far in advance, I would have gotten more colors of the markers. Um, but brown and black are fine. These, oh, these are super nice. Um, these little hand sanitizers uh, are going to go in the basket at my Photoshop, and we're just gonna give these away to people that come in, just to make sure they have clean hands when they leave. Maybe we should give them away before they do any business, so we make sure that they have clean hands before they touch anything here. All right, I'm being prompted to change out the pen, and I'm going to do the brown one now. Just clamp it in, 
just like this and press go on your computer or your tablet or your phone just as easy in all those all right i have tested out all of my pens the glitter ones they are super sparkly cutting is going to be next and my blade is right here before i lose it which has happened before just rolls off on the floor have to be super careful these blades they are super super tiny guys they are way smaller compared to our maker oops sorry that is our doorbell for the shop so sorry about that guys um so just to give you an idea on the size difference that is almost twice as big so definitely a big big size difference let's not do that right now all right so since it's done cutting it's asking for a blade and we're going to place the blade in the clamp and press go again and now so i don't lose this one come on buddy kind of difficult to do things sideways Already, it's telling me that my label is complete and it's asking me whether I want to unload it or not. So, quickly spits it out. All right, that turned out super nice. Now, I did rip one of these labels apart when I was trying to remove it from the backing, um, but I think the reason why that was is I was trying to get it from, um, whoops. From the area where it's curved. All right, that's our label. Let's see. These, um, the writable vinyl, it, it is very thin, so you have to be kind of gentle with it. It does not look super thin when it's placed on your item, but it is. Kind of flimsy, not like regular vinyl. All right, and got some creases in here. Work them out. Work them out. Perfect. It works. And I didn't have to order these online from somebody else. I can make them as I go. Make as many as I want. All right, testing out the gel pens, you guys. Um, I did not wait for this to dry at all and I'm rubbing my finger all over it and none of this is smearing or coming off or anything like that. My hands are completely the way they were before. So with the gel pens, let's see. Yes. So with the gel pen, I wrote on it just a zigzag line and wiped it right away and it did smear. Now, I'm going to wait for this to dry out a little bit and see if that makes a difference but that just gives you an idea how many possibilities you have with the little cute labels and um, it doesn't have to be on hand sanitizers of course we have spice jars and all kinds of different things we can label uh, on there okay so I just want to let you know that I waited for it to dry on the vinyl and it, it still smears not as much as whenever it was first written on but um, definitely smears so that's probably why they tell and Cricut tells us that um, these pens are not compatible with the vinyl so there you guys have it um, this was really easy like I said the file is going to be included in the blog and you're more than welcome to download it anytime make it smaller bigger change out the wording or you know make it suit your own needs and I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye for now